Okay. <laughs> 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 Because they do not use water to power electricity. Okay, 
and I almost draw upon Jenny, Nchenga, Ni Miala, Ninjuela. Doesn't be Zimani Bata, a Puma Guda, Minamagan of Nugudi, Nibangage, and Garant Hounanga within any example. They and Juanisa, Bango Jenny, and this are come with Zinongazi's minutes, or Zimango Nipani is its name. I'm so glad uh, that all of you are here to welcome us uh, to feel at home in the village of Wimbe. And we look forward to um, starting off tomorrow and signing the covenant and then beginning to build the school. Uh, Inayontabe <laughs> Abangaza <laughs> and this woman I would have been for an old and private. I got to go and get up on a week. My baby was just in the time of the moon. What do you think is going through your parents' head? I don't know. Oh, come on, speculate. <laughs> yeah, 
I'm not sure. It's kind of interesting to be on the other side, huh? To be waiting for someone yeah. to visit you rather than you visit someone else. Very interesting, yeah. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, Jenny. I think that ALA was a struggle for him, uh, especially the first year. It was a very steep cliff, and you couldn't climb the cliff. You needed ropes and pietons and a harness, and uh, you, know, you couldn't just walk up it. It was scaling a, a sheer face. Uh, he did it. He did it. But that's the thing is he would always tell me, I'd be like, is this too hard? And he said, I'm just going to work as hard as I need to and never give up, ever. And he didn't. William Kompawa Malawi. At some point during the book tour, I realized, wait a minute, why don't we make this a college tour? That would be a good idea, and William can get a sense of, does he want big or small or private or public or liberal arts or super engineering? We are going to grinding. He spoke at Harvey Mudd in LA while he was there. And then when he was going to MIT, we got this email from this woman, and she said, you really need to come to Dartmouth. And I said, if these people want us so badly, then maybe it's worth William going and checking this out. But they said to him, we want you to apply early decision by next week. And I wrote to the admission counselor, and I said, he hasn't taken the SAT yet. And they're like, yes, yes, we know, we know. Um, and he, you know, he filled out the application, and like a week later, he was accepted. I think they said, do we want this kid or not? And President Kim said to William, you are just the kind of kid that I want to educate for the 21st century. And when he said that, I mean, I heard about this once removed from Brian. I, I said, if, if William wants to go to Dartmouth, he can go to Dartmouth. Do you feel prepared for a school like Dartmouth? Um, for now, um, for now, I, can, I cannot really tell if I'm really prepared. Uh, but after, after time goes on, then I'm going to be able to tell that I'm, I'm really prepared for, for that of school. But now, I'm, for sure, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. But I don't know how well am I prepared. <laughs> and what will you do if you're not prepared? Uh, if I'm not prepared, I will try my best to be, uh, to be prepared. <laughs> Moving 
dipitiliza awasitaleketa apitiliza kuno mai wina kama kezeka maka maka ngati kupulipikira jwera ngati nje mapulipikira what are you going to say me yeah you i'm just going to say two two words and then then i'll be i'll be done like i'm not going to say much just a few ule muso kwa abamba ka mkwamba ah komaso ule mupite kwa abiu tione komaso kubungwe ri ja limene likugwira limozi ndi abamba ka mkwamba awindi miru Deskuri mene yamangidwai ndiyo na kuti taika mojeni taika mo magetsi ndeti kungu vempa kuti muisamalire komaso mukhaso ndi ma computer ena wana okwanira 13 ana ena kuti azitani aziphuzirako ndezi mene zikhalira kwa ino ana kuti mutani kupange moje muisamalire Ai zikomo maki dawala ndira ndi awa block ota ila ndira so ndipo tilonjeza kuisamalira sichonje Eh ya What do you think of the event yesterday? I think yesterday's event went well and I I can't kind of like um I liked it. Even though I was just I was just tired hearing lots of people mentioning my name. So yeah. But it was nice though. Yeah, people were talking about you a whole lot. Yeah, that the only part that I didn't enjoy as much as I was supposed to enjoy it. Why don't why don't you enjoy that? No, I I I don't know why. I just don't like it like <laughs> like when people are just like mentioning me all the time. Do you think you've been taught to feel that way, William, or you just do? I just do. Do you think of yourself as humble? Mm. A lot of people to, uh, tell me that I'm humble. I guess so. If a lot of people told me that I'm humble, then I guess I'm humble.
trying to look professional. <laughs> I'm speaking up here at 10.05. 20 minutes. Can you see that? See what? I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Just seeing the schedule, I'm shaking. Mpala is an accomplished teacher who has delivered an address at the 2008 World Economic Forum. He'll be going as a freshman to Dartmouth University this fall. Please welcome William. Obviously, in the five years that you um, that you've known him, his life has obviously transformed, changed completely. Mm -hmm. Do you do you ever talk to him about, or do you do you wonder if he if he misses like the way William was, or completely embraces the way he is now? See, when I look at the situation of now versus five years ago, I actually see the same person. I see William. I see around him more opportunity, uh, more satisfaction, uh, more sense that he can do what he wants to set out to do. And I don't honestly perceive that even for a moment he wishes to go back to the way things were. However, it, it, I'm sure at some times it, that it feels like a burden. I'm sure. Sure. <laughs> Hi. I really just wanted to shake your hand. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you for representing our generation so well. No problem. And for being one of the most progressive minds of it. It's truly an inspiration. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. I know. Can I, can I get a picture? Oh, sure. Take it? Oh, thank you. So are you excited about any research opportunities at Dartmouth? Yeah. Is there like any professor that you've been like particularly scoping out or are you just gonna wait and see? I will be, uh, most of the time I'll be working with some professors, but yeah, I'll find them. Yeah, I had actually applied to Dartmouth, but it's so expensive. Oh, uh, yeah. Is it different with here? It's like fifty thousand dollars a year. You hear it's what? Uh, at University of Florida, it's like eighteen thousand. There, it's like fifty thousand. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Wayne, do you want orange juice? Yes, please. Me too. Tom? No, thank you. Do you need a glass for something else? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yep, and as much bacon as you want. That might be too much, but... It is good. You like the, um, the dill in it? Yeah. Would you tell me if you didn't? Mm-hmm. But... <laughs> Maybe. To speak one's mind means to say what you're really thinking. Or to not be afraid to say what you're really thinking. Right, like with, um, at school, if you don't want to do something, it's okay to say no. Do you know what, um, peer pressure is? No. You got a lot of talks about that. I figure. Mm. When they want you to drink from the beer keg that is this big, because you know, there's a little hose coming off of it yeah. and a little valve. Ixne. Mm -hmm. He might no. try a sip, try. but yeah. But you don't need to. Also, do you know what it means if somebody says, do you want to do shots? Mm. Mm. You're probably going to want to say no. 
um, but the, a small glass, and they put alcohol, hard alcohol, like strong alcohol, or like liquor. tequila, liquor. Like what your grandpa likes. Right, and then they, to do shots, like you just drink it really fast. And I guess the purpose is to get drunk really fast. Bring the wine up. And pull it down through the loop. Boy, are these lawyers thorough, you know, throughout the universe for anything, iPod, internet, mobile phone, television production, pay, cable, satellite, broadcast, video on demand, pay-per-view, series, movie of the week, and miniseries production rights. I mean, prequels, sequels, remakes, and series based on the property. Uh, you could sign this. I, I would be able to deal with it if you, if you sign this. It, this. This is the agreement between you and Chiwetel Ojiofor saying he has the right to make the book into a movie and he has the right to all of your life rights. So, I mean, he basically has the right to tell your story. You're, we're giving him a lot of rights to do stuff. But it says, the thing, they, just so you know, they, they get the right to make a movie about you and they also get your life story rights, but it stops before Dartmouth. It says explicitly, we carved out and said you can't have anything of his life after Dartmouth or you have to pay him more, you know, because I didn't want you to have all of your life trapped up in, you know, that he owns, that he can do stuff with, right? Yeah. Um, the, the most important thing to understand about this kind of agreement, and this is true with every, every selling your rights to Hollywood, it's true for every single one, it's called, they get fictionalization rights, meaning that they can make your true story into fiction if they want. They can take out scenes, they can put in whole nude scenes, they can make scenes up. Um, they can make, you know, they could make you into a villain if they wanted to and make you the bad guy. But they won't because that doesn't make any sense and nobody would come to see that movie. It, you know, so they're not gonna make you look bad. That, that, you don't have to worry about that. Although they could, they technically have the rights to change things, but they could make your father, you know, like he didn't drink when he was younger, or uh, like you had an alcohol problem. However, the good news is you're the hero of the story. <laughs> so it doesn't make sense for them to make you look bad. You know what I mean? It d doesn't work. It doesn't work as a story. So, it, but I just wanted you to know that they can fictionalize something. They can change it around and you have no right to say anything. If you just take the time to do these right now, we'll, then we'll, we'll deal with the notarizing part when we get to New Hampshire. My recommendation is you do it now. Just to get it, just to get it done. I'm sorry. Uh, there. Hey, Brian, it's Tom calling. Um, I'm here with William and um, we're looking at the Chiwetel Ojiofor agreement. And I just want to make sure you're comfortable with all of it. Um, we're going to go ahead and sign it, I think. There's there's a couple things that seem new to me, and I just wanted to ask you, was the original option length for 12 months or 18 months? Do you remember? You're in one of the corner rooms. Like you're either in there or there. Four and two. Four and two. Yeah. Okay. This is not what I thought it would be like. Now 
of the thinking way I have put. Find out about bunk beds. The other thing you can do, William, is claim a desk too. If you want light, it's there. And if you don't, if you don't want the glare coming into your computer, then it's there. Putting something in front of the Put a desk there. For a desk. So this bed could go this way. This, yeah, and then you could put another. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Oh, it's light. Well, it's because there's two of you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Maybe this line should yeah, be right in the closet right now. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, there we go. Are all your bags packed to move them into your room? Yeah. Okay. So what now? Then we need to go. I have a question for you. You remember that contract from a couple days ago Tom explained to you? Yeah. What does that mean? Um, you mean which one? The, the one from Chiwetel. The one to make the movie. Yeah. Um, um, I'm just hoping that if everything goes well then they might be able to make uh, a move about my uh, my story. Do you want that? Yeah. I feel like sometimes you get a little n nervous or embarrassed if a lot of people know your story. Um. Um. Yeah. Some sometimes because uh, there's a reason why I do that uh, because other people, when they know my story, uh, some people they just think as um. Uh, they say William was win me a boy, but not just saying William as a person, as other person. That's what I just want. I wanted like people to know me like William as normal other other guys, other young young people. So that's why when sometimes I get embarrassed. Do you wonder though, if you sign that contract? If that means that everyone will know you as the windmill boy? <clears throat> that's, uh, that's one thing that I um, wondered that what might happen when they will make a movie and what are the things that they are going to, uh, uh, to use in the movie. These are the things that I'm, I'm just trying to find out exactly what is going to to happen. That's why I was like sort of resisting on signing them and trying to uh, to find some answers or the, <laughs> some other things before. Hello? Uh, no? Tell him three minutes. Okay, three minutes. Yeah, okay. We're downstairs with the car. okay. I ah, know, I'm I'm fine. Okay, yeah. See ya. Okay. I just want to ask you about this and then we can go. Did you sign the contract? Yes, I did. Um, yeah, because you can print different sizes. So we'll finish this when you have your computer. I didn't know it was going to be so big. But it's the one that comes free with your computer. So do you want to put it on top of that dresser tomorrow? And we can move the... Bookcase. The dresser doesn't belong to him. Oh. oh. So 
Well, we're gonna see. I if know we can, if you're perfectly wireless. capable of putting your clothes away, but do you just yeah. want us to do it? Well, other things. Like, we take like a second. <laughs> you, you, you have already done But this so is why mad. we're here. I mean, certainly, all your physical preparations are done. All the technology, all the clothes, all the dorm stuff that you need. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of the academic preparation is done too. Obviously, you started reading 1491, which is good. You can just keep keep plugging it. That's a long book, but if you can keep plugging away at it, I think you'll be okay. I mean, obviously, you can tell that you have a support structure here that's unusual. You know, it, mm. it's unusual because people are were very moved by your story, and they want to, you know, they want to help. So. Take advantage of it, and it's okay. Don't feel bad about it. There's only one thing I ask: if you need something, don't, don't wait. Don't feel like you shouldn't ask. Just ask, and we'll help you with whatever it is. Help you solve it yourself. But I know it's hard for you to, it's hard for you to ask for help. Bye. We need to get his backpack out. Good luck to you. You're gonna be fine. Just let me know if you know if you need help with anything. Okay. But you know, you don't need to you're ready. I was quite a bit of like scared. I was just like scared that it's now it's up to me like to figure out what I want to do, to figure out everything by my own. So that's that's the one thing I was like, oh. One thing I remember at some point like uh, some people be asking me, oh, are you are you are you the boy um, the boy who harnessed the wind? Are you the guy? I said like, oh, actually I know that guy. We went to the same high school. I wanted people to know me as William. I just wanted to be like uh, to be as a student, as that kind of student as everybody else. Yeah. And and you you think you you found that? Yeah. Okay, so I think I think I should move that other. I'll ask. Oh, I feel ridiculously proud. I mean, how could you not? But, I mean, what I'm proud of is him manifesting the him I knew he could be and not about any assistance that he may have gotten from me or anyone else. What drives me to want to help William? I think that, that there's definitely this sense of being a parental figure in someone's life the way I'd wished it to be in mine. And there's definitely a sense of, of I'm definitely working out stuff for myself by doing this. Nothing unhealthy, nothing dysfunctional particularly, but I think, I think that there's something that's been emotionally profound, emotionally healing for me about doing this. Not responsible person to 
azambiri zimene zikutani zopesa kuti azikupangika kwene yo school ni mona ngati kuti pa zinthu zina zimene ni mafunitsi tsaine yao ndatsakhala mtsogolo muno ni mona ngati kuti zikhozotheka chifukwa cha chani chifukwa cha school mona ngati kwaine yo ndona ngati makola anga wose sada tani a sada phuzire adali anthodi nalimi ni kukhala ku jokotani nita phuzira mwina ni khozo madza manga zinthu zina a paine ndekha mpakana ntsogoro mathaso kuganiza uweka kuti mwina ntena ake akhozo tani akhozo sia kunithandiza andiona kuti padza khanthawi mene andi dzaona kuti ndikhozopanga onjeni andi khozopanga control moyo wai a week later he was accepted I think they said do we want this kid or not and president kim said to william you are just the kind of kid that i want to educate for the 21st century and when he said that i mean i heard about this once removed from brian i i said if if william wants to go to dartmouth he can go to dartmouth do you feel prepared for a school like dartmouth um for now um for now i can i cannot really tell if i'm really prepared uh, but after after time goes on then i can be able to tell that i'm i'm really prepared for that of school but now i'm for sure i'm ready i'm ready for it but i don't know how well am i prepared <laughs> and what will you do if you're not prepared uh if i'm not prepared i will try my best to be uh, to be prepared. <laughs> What are you going to say? Me? Yeah, you. I'm just going to say two, two words and then, then I'll be, I'll be done. Like, I'm not going to say much, just a few. Uremuso kwa abamba kamkwamba, komaso uremu bide kwa abi udione, komaso kubungwe rija limene, dikugwira limozi ndi abamba kamkwamba, awindi miru. Deskuri mene yamangidwai ndiyo na kuti taigamo jeni taigamo magetsi 
de rungu govern pakuti muisa malire koma somu kaso di ma computer ena wana ogwa ni definitely a sense of of i'm definitely working out stuff for myself by doing this nothing unhealthy nothing dysfunctional particularly but i think i think that there's something that's been emotionally profound emotionally healing for me about doing this Ringa ni mino moyo ngo na ridi ndo yimi ni sada ni sada gumana ni tomo ni bano bwe ni ndagu mana ndiye asinto zambiri asinto ngo basi asinto sosodi zabu na gumbiri ndi nodi ndenga bumba ndi responsible basinto asambiri zimeni zogudani zobe zogudi asikubangi ka. Kwenye school ni mwana ngati kuti pazi ntuzi na zimene ni mafuni tita ineo ntata kala mtu kolo munu. Ni mwana ngati kuti zi kozo teka, chifu kwa jajani, chifu kwa jasukuru. Mwana ngati kwa ineo ndao na ngati magola nga wase sada dani, sada puzire. Adali antodi na alimi, ni kukala kwa jago dani. Nita puzira, mwina, ni kuzoma zamanga zintuzina, apa inendeka. Mpaka na ntogoro, mataso ugani za uweka kuri, mwina ntena agia kuzozani, akuzosia, kunita ndizani. And one of the people can't have me, and it's one of the because of Anga on Jenny, and because of Anga control my way. Yeah, some, sometimes because uh, there's a reason why I do that uh, because other people, when they know my story, uh, some people they just think as um, uh, they say William was win me a boy, but not just saying William as a person as other person. That's what I just want. I wanted like people to know me like William as normal other other guys, other young young people, so that's why when sometimes I get embarrassed. Do you wonder, though, if you sign that contract, if that means that everyone will know you as the windmill boy? <clears throat> that's, uh, that's one thing that I um, wondered that what might happen when they will make a movie and what are the things that they are going to uh, uh, to use in the movie. These are the things that I'm, I'm just trying to find out exactly what is going to, to happen. That's why I was like sort of resisting on signing them and trying to uh, to find some answers or the, <laughs> some other things before. Hello? Uh, no? Tell him three minutes. Okay, three minutes. Okay. Ah, uh, no, I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. See ya. 
Okay. I just want to ask you about this, and then we can go. Did you sign the contract? Yes, I did. Um, yeah, because you can print different sizes. So we'll finish this when you have your computer. I didn't know it was going to be so big. But it's the one that comes free with your computer. So do you want to put it on top of that dresser table? And we can move the bookcase? The dresser doesn't belong to him. Oh. oh. So... Well, we're going to see I if know we can, if you're perfectly wireless. capable of putting your clothes away. But do you just yeah. want us to do it? Well, other like, it take like a second. <laughs> you, you, you have put it in But this is why we're mind. here. I mean, certainly all your physical preparations are done. All the technology, all the clothes, all the dorm stuff that you need. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of the academic preparation is done too. Obviously, you started reading 1491, which is good. If you can just keep... No. You have a lot of talks about that. I figure. Mm. When they want you to drink from the beer keg that is this big, because <laughs> there's a little hose coming off of it and a little valve. Ixnay. Mm. You might no. try. A you sip, can try. But yeah, but you don't need to. Also, do you know what it means if somebody says, do you want to do shots? Mm. Mm. You're probably going to want to say no. Um, but the, a small glass, and they put alcohol, hard alcohol, like strong alcohol, or like liquor. tequila, liquor. Like what your grandpa likes. Right, and then they, to do shots, like you just drink it really fast. And I guess the purpose is to get drunk really fast. Bring the wife up. And pull it down through the loop. Again, bring the quiet up. Bring the quiet around and behind the narrow right. Hmm. Um, but boy, are these lawyers thorough, you know, throughout the universe for anything iPod, internet, mobile phone, television production, pay, cable, satellite, broadcast, video on demand, pay-per-view, series, movie of the week, and miniseries production rights. Including prequels, sequels, remakes, and series based on the property. Uh, you could sign this. I, I would be able to deal with it if you, if you sign this. It, this. This is the agreement between you and Chiwetel Ojiofor saying he has the right to make the book into a movie and he has the right to all of your life rights so, I mean he basically has the right to tell your story You're, we're giving him a lot of rights to do stuff but it says the thing they just so you know they they get the right to make a movie about you and they also get your life story rights but it stops before Dartmouth it says explicitly we carved out and said you can't have anything of his life after Dartmouth or you have to pay him more, you know, because I didn't want you to have all of your life trapped up in, you know, that he owns, that he can do stuff with, right? Yeah. Um, the, the most important thing to understand about this kind of agreement, and this is true with every, every selling your rights to Hollywood, it's true for every single one, it's called, they get fictionalization rights, meaning that they can make your true story into fiction if they want. They can take out scenes, they can put in whole nude scenes, they can make scenes up. Um, they can make, you know, they could make you into a villain if they wanted to and make you the bad. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Trying to look professional. <laughs> I'm speaking up here. I take on five. Give it a minute. Can you see that? See what? I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Just seeing the schedule, I'm shaking. Ampava is an accomplished teacher who has delivered an address at the 2008 World Economic Forum. He'll be going as a freshman to Dartmouth University this fall. Please welcome William. Obviously, in the five years that, you, um, that you've known him, his life has obviously transformed change completely. Mm -hmm. Do you do you ever talk to him about or do you do you wonder if he if he misses like the way William was or completely embraces the way he is now? See, when I look at the situation of now versus five years ago, I actually see the same person. I see William. I see around him more opportunity, uh, more satisfaction, uh, more sense that he can do what he wants to set out to do. And being that they are going to, uh, uh, to use in their movie, these are the things that I'm, I'm just trying to find out exactly what is going to, to happen. That's why I was like sort of resisting on signing them and trying to uh, to find some answers or the, <laughs> some other things before. Hello. Uh, no. Tell him th three minutes. Okay, three minutes. Okay. Ah uh, no, I'm I'm fine. Yeah. See ya. Okay. I just want to ask you about this and then we can go. Did you sign the contract? Yes, I did. Um, yeah, because you can print different sizes. So we'll finish this when you have your computer. I didn't know it was going to be so big. But it's the one that comes free with your computer. So do you want to put it on top of that dresser table? And we can move the bookcase? The dresser doesn't belong to him. Oh. oh. So well, we're gonna see I know can, you're perfectly capable of putting your clothes away. But do you just yeah. want us to do it? Well, other like, It would take like a second. <laughs> you, you, you have put it in But this is why we're mind. here. I mean, certainly all your physical preparations are done. All the technology, all the clothes, all the dorm stuff that you need. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of the academic preparation is done too. Obviously, you started reading 1491, which is good. If you can just keep keep plugging it, that's a long book. But if you can keep plugging away at it, I think you'll be okay. I mean, obviously, you can tell that you have a support structure here that's unusual. You know, it, mm. it's unusual because people are, were very moved by your story and they want to, you know, they want to help. So take advantage of it and it's okay. Don't feel bad about it. And there's only one thing I ask. If you need something, don't, don't wait. Don't feel like you shouldn't ask. Just ask and we'll help you with whatever it is. Help you solve it yourself. Because I know it's hard for you to it's hard for you to ask for help. Bye. We need to get his backpack out. Good luck to you. You're going to be you. fine. Just let me know if you, know, you need help with anything. Okay. But, you know, you don't need to. You're ready.
So I, even though we have GPS, I like to follow along on the map. <laughs> no problem. Because you're in one of the corner rooms. Like you're either in there or there. Four and two. Four and two. not what I thought it would be like. Now I'll be thinking where to put. Find out about bunk beds. The other thing you can do, William, is claim a desk too. If you want light, it's there. And if you don't, if you don't want the glare coming into your computer, then it's there. Putting something in front of you. Put a desk there. Put a desk. So this bed could go this way. This, yeah, and then you could put another. Thank you. Oh, it's light. Well, it's because there's two of you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe this line should yeah, I'm be right on the closet right now. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, there we go. Are all your bags packed to move them into your room? Yeah. Okay. So what now? Then we need to go. I have a question for you. you. Remember that contract from a couple days ago Tom explained to you? Yeah. What does that mean? Um, you mean which one? The... the one from Chiwetel. The one to make the movie? Yeah. Um, um, I'm just hoping that if everything goes well then they might be able to make it. <laughs> I'm not sure if 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 I'm not sure um, school I was able to get to the 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 Ninjuela. <laughs> I'm so glad uh, that all of you are here to welcome us uh, to feel at home in the village of Wimbe. 
and we look forward to um, starting off tomorrow and signing the covenant and then beginning to build the school. Uh, Andrena <laughs> What do you think is going through your parents' head? I don't know. Oh, come on, speculate. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm not sure. It's kind of interesting to be on the other side, huh? To be waiting for someone yeah. to visit you rather than you visit someone else. Very interesting, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, Jenny. I think that ALA was a struggle for him, uh, especially the first year. It was a very steep cliff, and you couldn't climb the cliff. You needed ropes and pietons and a harness, and uh, you, know, you couldn't just walk up it. It was scaling a, a sheer face. Uh, he did it. He did it. But that's the thing is he would always tell me, I'd be like, is this too hard? And he said, I'm just going to work as hard as I need to and never give up, ever. And he didn't. William Kompawa Malawi. At some point during the book tour, I realized, wait a minute, why don't we make this a college tour? That would be a good idea, and William can get a sense of, does he want big or small or private or public or liberal arts or super engineering? We are going to grinding. He spoke at Harvey Mudd in LA while he was there. And then when he was going to MIT, we got this email from this woman. But you don't need to. Also, do you know what it means if somebody says, do you want to do shots? Mm. Mm. You're probably going to want to say no. Um, but the, a small glass, and they put alcohol, hard alcohol, like strong alcohol, or like liquor. tequila, liquor. Like what your grandpa likes. Right. And then they, to do shots, like you just drink it really fast. And I guess the purpose is to get drunk really fast. Bring the wife. Huh. And pull it down to the loop. Boy, are these lawyers thorough, you know, throughout the universe for anything, iPod, internet, mobile phone, television production, pay, cable, satellite, broadcast, video on demand, pay-per-view, series, movie of the week, and miniseries production rights, including prequels, sequels, remakes, and series based on the property. Uh, you could sign this. I, I would be able to deal with it if you, if you sign this. It, this. This is the agreement 
between you and Chiwetel Ojiofor saying he has the right to make the book into a movie and he has the right to all of your life rights. So, I mean, he basically has the right to tell your story. You're, we're giving him a lot of rights to do stuff. But it says, the thing, they, just so you know, they, they get the right to make a movie about you and they also get your life story rights, but it stops before Dartmouth. It says explicitly, we carved out and said, you can't have anything of his life after Dartmouth or you have to pay him more, you know, because I didn't want you to have all of your life trapped up in, you know, that he owns, that he can do stuff with, right? Yeah. Um, the, the most important thing to understand about this kind of agreement, and this is true with every, every selling your rights to Hollywood, it's true for every single one, it's called, they get fictionalization rights, meaning that they can make your true story into fiction if they want. They can take out scenes, they can put in whole nude scenes, they can make scenes up, um, they can make, you know, they could make you into a villain if they wanted to and make you the bad guy. But they won't because that doesn't make any sense and nobody would come to see that movie. It, you know, so they're not going to make you look bad. That, that, you don't have to worry about that. Although they could, they technically have the right to change things. But they could make your father, you know, like he didn't drink when he was younger or uh, like you had an alcohol problem. However, 